Good. Move. Come on. Five, six. Ah. Six. Lightweight. Last one. Come on. Ten reps. Two. Good reps. Good reps. Good reps. Come on. Four. Good. Five. Come on, man. Five. Halfway there. Come on. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Good job. Good job, man. What is going on guys? Will here. Welcome to the video. Today we got a big leg day with Fuad Abiyad and IFBB Pro. The dude is an absolute monster. So we're going to a gym that I've never been to before in Burlington, Ontario called Pure Muscle and Fitness. So we have not been doing much legs on this channel and all of a sudden it's just been legs for days. Like I just recovered from doing the leg day with Greg Doucette and here we are. So we have to be at the gym at one o'clock. Current time is now just about 11. So we're gonna make the pre-workout meal. All right, so the pre-workout meal is in the microwave and while I'm waiting for it, I thought I'd tell you guys like two weeks ago, I was feeling kind of crappy, you know, very, very lethargic, tired. Didn't really feel like I wanted to work out, didn't get a pump in the gym, my weights were just dipping. And what that was telling me is that I needed to pull back. So what I did last week is I actually cut my volume in half and I, do, I was doing like maximum two sets per exercise. I actually took out some of the accessory work altogether and some of the workouts were like 25, 30 minutes maximum. So. I came into this week and I'm hitting PRs left, right, and center. So don't think that you always just have to push through if you're feeling like crap. It doesn't just go like this. Progress does not just go like that. Sometimes you gotta take a dip to go back up. So if you don't feel great, take a step back, recover, get some rest, and then the next week, go in and kill it. <sighs> so meat is always part of my morning routine, just never in the form of meatloaf. But I feel like today's workout is gonna be very intense. So meatloaf just actually seems quite appropriate. So we have some Barbecue five spiced meatloaf from this new company that I'm now working with called the Iron Way Pro Meal. So they have all of the macros listed on here. So super good, 412 calories, 32 grams of protein, 26 grams of carbs, and 22 grams of fat. So you got the piece of meatloaf, you got a couple of things of potatoes, and you got your green beans and spinach there to get your greens in. So I have tried many meal prep companies in the past and they lack a lot of things, most importantly, flavor. But this one here, just excites you to eat out of Tupperware. And it's pretty hard to do. So I have not had this one before. Let's just give a little taste test. That's good meatloaf, yo. I actually have no idea what kind of meat it is. Does it even say? No idea, but you know what? I don't care how it's made. Just feed me at this point. Anything, I'll eat it. Put in front of me. Like if the whole YouTube thing doesn't work out, I'd be like a, I'd be like a surrogate chewer, you know? And especially with a pretty intense workout, this is like my sixth thing of water for the day. So if you wanna check the Iron Way out, they will be linked in the description, 10 10, 10% off. Highly recommend if you guys are in the Toronto GTA area, give them a shot, let me know what you think. So just gonna do some editing. The gym's like just under an hour away from where I live, so we have to leave very, very soon, and I'll see you guys shortly. Good morning, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a medium dark roast black please? And that's it. Medium dark roast black. So I'm on my third cup of coffee of the day. So the gym is an hour away. So my strategy going into this workout is for the first 30 minutes of this drive, I'm gonna sip on this coffee. The second 30 minutes, I'm gonna introduce the pre-workout. So by the time we get to the gym, my heart is pounding. I feel anxiety, feel alive, ready to go. All right guys, so an hour later, we have made it to Pure Muscle and Fitness. At least I think we did. It's a pretty hard gym to find. So we'll see if we can actually get inside. Uh -oh. I'm hoping this is the gym. I actually have no idea if this is the gym. So I managed to find Fuad and then I asked him, are we squatting today? And he said, oh yeah, today's gonna be a tough one and then managed to giggle and then walk away. So I don't really know what that means, but I know we're in for a treat. 
you know you're at a hardcore gym when. So there's a lot of machines in here that I'm like, is this like a medieval torture device? And then you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, that trains the chest. It's, it's actually incredible in here. So you don't like this leg press? That's no problem, because then you have this one right here. But if you don't like that one, you then have this one. But then if you don't like this one, you then have this one. But then if you don't like this one, you have four other ones lined up. All right, so we're here at Pure Muscle and Fitness with Fuad, and he's gonna take me through a leg day where he laughs when I ask him if it's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> I didn't laugh. You didn't laugh? Didn't, that's not why I laughed. Why is it? Because you just, you're looking at me and you're like, this guy's gonna die. I, I don't know. You know what? Actually, I watched your, uh... I watched your leg video with Greg Doucette. Yeah. You're a lot stronger than I thought. 365 for six? Yeah, it was yeah. impressive. Thank you. But it's more the, the endurance I'm worried about. Endurance, yeah. Yeah. I don't, my, my endurance and anything's not that great. So anything above like eight reps, it's not happening usually, especially for legs. Really? Usually legs, I'm like training like within like the three to fives, do like five by five, seven by threes, but never like. Well, you're gonna have a tough day today. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be doing 20s. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How much, okay. what's your height and weight right now? Because I don't think uh, I've ever felt this skinny in my life. <laughs> right now, like. Uh, um, right now, 5'9", 280. 280? Okay. Yeah. So just a solid 100 pounds on me. So what are you, you're at 180 right now? 180. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're strong as fuck for 180. Oh wait, I can't swear. Speak that up. Okay, so we're gonna start with lying leg curls. The reason we start with lying leg curls is to warm up the knees. Okay. Because a lot of people start with leg extensions to warm up the knees, but you're actually putting pressure right on the knee while you're trying to warm it up. Okay. So we do the opposite thing and do leg curls. That way you're warming up the knee without putting any pressure on it. Stop. Bring your feet together. Okay, go. Don't throw it though. Yeah, there you go. Go. Good. I can see the difference. Your yeah. butt was moving this way. Yeah. Not this way. Right? Okay. Yeah. So your body was going forward, which is fine. Yeah. But your entire hamstring was, you could see it moving, right? Yeah. Maybe so, way yeah. heavier. So I just asked Fuad, how many sets are we doing? I was like, three or four? He's like, no, we're just gonna go until we can't do them anymore. Yeah. Went for a long one today, it's like it's just a warm up. Explosive, but feel it. Yes. So we're about like what, eight sets deep into line leg curls? Yeah, I think Was it eight already? I'd say I'm pretty warm. When you? <laughs> pretty warm. We're gonna do a cluster set to finish here. Okay. So we always save the hardest set to the very end, obviously. Yeah. So we're gonna do five reps. Yeah. So it's not total failure. We're gonna yeah. pick five, we'll do five. Yeah. Rest for 20 seconds, five, rest for 20 seconds, another five. Okay. <sighs> That was the warm up, if we want to call it that. So I think up next we're doing the leg press. So he just went right away to this one. How do you determine this one out of like, we have like pretty much like the best selection of all time at this gym. This one's the oldest. The oldest. Uh, people always go for the newest thing, but the way they make new equipment, they actually make it easier. Oh really? So like a lot of the newer stuff, I could put like a ton of weight on it, yeah. and it looks impressive, but actually doesn't feel as good. This, the older stuff, and I don't know if it's because it's lower to the ground, or the backrest is a certain way, or the angle of the sled is a certain way, but this one is the hardest of all the leg press here. So harder, harder the better, man. Go! Go! One more, one more, one more! Come on, you got it! Okay, so on the last of the leg press, 
Uh, we're gonna do a big strip set. So we're doing five to 10 reps. You're gonna take a plate off, do another five to 10, plate off all the way down to get to one per side. And uh, then we go on to squats. Good work, man. Trip. Trip. I'm next, so hey. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Uh. Wait, wait. Last one, come on, 10 reps. Two, three, good reps, good reps. Three. Come on, four, good. Five. Come on, man, five. Five point there, come on. Eight. I think I made contact with God in that set. I don't think I've ever gone that much past failure in my entire life. And to think that we're about to go do some squats right now is, is actually terrifying. Holy shit. So, okay, so we just finished leg press. Now we're moving on to squats. I have not done squats third in a leg workout in my life. Yeah, it's harder. I think I'm actually gonna need a squat with just the bar. <laughs> like genuinely, I think I need a squat with just the bar. So we're doing like six to So 10. for sets and reps on a, on a squat, I usually, I go five to six on the low end. I usually don't do more than eight to 10. So for warm up, I don't really count my reps. I just want my legs feel like they're good. Okay. And then I just go from there. That feels a lot different doing yeah, that third. Yeah, I'm a big meal wow. post bigger than other body parts. All right, so we just finished the squat, so now we're hobbling over to the hack squat to finish up the workout. Probably another six to eight sets, 12 to 15, 20 reps, failure, pass out, die. One of those, you know? I was telling Fuad that my energy is starting to dip after like my third set of squats, and he's because it's because you don't eat right. So what's your like approach to nutrition? Um, on leg day, I usually, I'll have a big meal the night before, like my last meal of the night. Yeah. Probably a little bit heavier in carbs. Yeah. And then I have, I usually increase my carbs. I have two meals before I train legs. Okay. I probably increase my carbs by about 50 grams each meal. So my total carbs for each meal is about 100, 120. Okay. And then my pre-workout meal is usually, I space it about two hours before I train on leg day. Good, all the way down, all the way down. Ask to grab, ask to your cat, touch. Good. Okay, give me two more now. Fuck me. <laughs> well, how, you say how easy you did it when I said three? Come on. Come on. Two more. Finish it. Come on. Let's go. Good. Good. One more time. Good. 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 Good job, man. All right, so I want to believe this is the last set. We have five plates on the. On the hack spot? I believe it's the last one. Don't you dare say we're doing a strip set. <laughs> Don't you dare say we're doing that. Guys, so we just finished the last set of hack squats and that's gonna wrap up the leg workout with Fuad. You know, I feel pretty sick, I feel dizzy. I feel like I wanna cry. I can't barely bend my knees. 
just, you know, tomorrow's gonna be a rough day, but that's just a sign of a good leg day. Yeah. I mean, this is way different than what I'm used to. Like, the amount of like volume and like reps I did today is has not even touched anything I've ever done in my life. But at least we deserve post-workout meal. Yeah. You know the guy can eat, just not as much as me because you failed the 20,000 calorie challenge. I, actually. <laughs> you failed it, he failed it. I don't think you did it. Excuse me? Didn't you edit like a whole bunch of stuff out? No. I gotta rewatch your video. I don't think I watched oh, the man. whole thing. Oh man, do you want the raw footage? Or? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You did all 20. Oh yeah. Just like that. I gotta watch the footage again. Yeah, yeah. watch it. All right, so we're gonna, we're, we're gonna speedy. We're gonna speedy. Okay, let's right. do it. Yeah. I've never had five guys before in my life. No? No. I've had, I've had the fries, I've never had the burger. Are you serious? Yeah. So a burger is 840 calories. That's just, that's not. 840 calories? That, that's like a, a palace hunter for you, right? <laughs> now this is a cup I am talking about. This is like how much I need. All right, so we got the two burgers. Is there two in here or three? It's it feels two. like there's three, but there's two. I think there's two. This is heavy ass burger. So I'm not a burger man, like I said. I'm a donut pizza man, <laughs> but like red meat for speed is just, but these look greasy, which is giving me hope. Oh, so, burgers. and they smell, they smell horrifically bad. For I can deal with the pizza and the donuts too. That's what we should have did pizza and donuts. Next time. Do you have a get strategy going into this? I just have to get comfortable. <clears throat> you just got, you got to open wide and let it slide, man. <laughs> That's what you got to do. All right, who's giving the countdown? Me? One, two, three. Come on, bro. You're a cobra, bro. Wait, stop. That was close. Fuck, is it my nose? <laughs> the TSN turning point is when you went for the, when went you went for for the, the sit. I know. I saw you and I started to pull away. <laughs> you know? If I had a glass of, of pop, it would have been easier. You're, you're, come on. <laughs> I, I, I admit I lost not by much, so I don't feel bad about my, my loss. It was like a hair. Yeah. Next time you gotta do donuts. Why are you faster with donuts? Oh, yeah. I be Okay, but you have to give me this. I beat your ass in the workout way more than you beat my ass in the food. Oh, that leg press, I'm not gonna forget it. Okay, good. I won't forget it. So I, I yeah. overall, I, I am the victor. I'll give you that. Okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> All right, so that was the workout and the food challenge with Fuad. So I'm gonna do cryotherapy tomorrow morning. Yeah, I wanna know how that in, feels. Yeah, in hopes to kind of... Fix your legs? Expedite the process of recovery. You gotta let me know, because me and him were talking about we're, me doing ice baths and stuff, and I wanna know if the cryotherapy like feels just as good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So until next time, I guess. Until next time. All right, brother. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Woke up to a nice stumble on my step as I go out of bed. So getting from point A to point B is just going to be a little bit more difficult today. My glutes are on fire and my quads are wrecked right now. So that was his quad focus day. He has another separate hamstring focus day. Uh, you know, so last night when I got home, I like passed out. I felt so like mentally like just drained. I was bed at like 10 o'clock. Usually go to bed around like one and I just slept until it's a little after 10 o'clock and I usually wake up around like 6, 30, 7 o'clock. So that just told me I just completely went all out and just completely exerted myself. That strip set, I just, I, I heard him yelling strip in, in my sleep and I, you know, something spiritual happened in that set. But he even said, so today is Thursday. He says Friday, you'll be feeling it even more than today, which is delightful. But going to be heading to cryotherapy very shortly to see if we can not make that the case, so we'll see. All right, so I'm at CryoMend here with Nicole, and she's gonna take me through my first cryotherapy experience. So I've done ice baths many times, mm -hmm. but she's saying it's wildly different than the cryotherapy, right? Yeah, well, first of all, there's no moisture attached. Okay. So the air is dry, yeah. um, so that in itself is a big difference. Okay. Um, there's no big setup for you, and you're in and out in three minutes. Okay, Perfect, so yeah. better than 20 minutes yeah, of ice absolutely. bath. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the machine, okay? 
So oh, wow. this is like a little elevator. This will come down after when I turn the machine on. Okay. okay. So this cabin fills with cold air, which is cooled through liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Okay. You're in the cabin for three minutes. The door closes. It doesn't lock. So there's just, just a small little magnet yeah. that shuts and you can open the door at any time. So you're never stuck in there. Okay, how cold okay. is it getting there? Uh, minus 140. Oh my God, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, so your head is above at all times. So you're you're immersed from the neck down. Okay. okay? There's a little gauge at the top there. It's yeah. gonna show you the temperature and yeah. it's also gonna show you the time left. Okay. okay. When we enter the chamber, we have socks, yeah. gloves, yeah. And slippers. Take a look at these slippers, guys. Look how cute they are. Fun. So, is that a polar bear? It's a polar yeah. bear. Polar bear. Polar yeah. So we're gonna wear that with just our underwear. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna remove all jewelry. Yeah. So make sure you have no metal, no metal on the underwear or anything like that. Okay. Okay. So what's like the? I guess what's for like muscle recovery? What's so good about cryotherapy? Cryotherapy helps with pain and inflammation. Okay. Right. Um. It also releases uh, endorphins in the body. Yeah. Um. It also helps with mental health in the way that it helps with stress, anxiety. Uh, okay. It helps to uh, relax the body. Yeah. When you come out, you feel you feel very loose. Okay. Um, you feel uh, sometimes when we train a lot, our bodies become very tense. We become very tight. We yeah. stress the muscle. Yeah. This sort of relaxes everything okay. and it reduces the inflammation in the muscle. What do you see the, the slippers? You have the they're quite comfy. Are they? Yeah, they're amazing. Okay, go ahead. Oh yeah, it's starting to get cold. Yeah. It's starting to get cold right now. Does that feel good? Yeah, feel good. I'm starting to get used to it. I feel a little bit, it feels like a little bit like burning a little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. If you want to move around, you can. Maybe up to you, just try not to touch the side. I can especially feel it in my legs. Yesterday I did a very hard leg workout, and I can feel it a lot in my legs right now. Good. such a weird feeling. I feel like I actually like, can go run a marathon right now, actually. And it's weird, I can like, it was, I had a hard time going like this before I came in, but now it just seems like it's, it's fine. Damn. So the cryotherapy is complete. I'm feeling really, really good. So I'm supposed to sleep really well tonight. So I'll see how I feel tomorrow. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here that I was training with Fuad that was doing the burger challenge with Fuad. He is such a sick guy. I had a great time working out with him. I'll link his uh, channel in the description below. He has podcasts, he does workouts, a bunch of really good information. So I highly recommend you guys check it out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.